welcome to a new video thanks for stopping by this is jmr art and we're going to be starting a new video series here called sketchbook and chill so the basic idea behind it is just to document some of the work that i do in my sketchbook and the whole goal is just to be more consistent posting here on youtube to get better with videos to get better at doing voiceovers as well and to just improve as an artist getting that mileage in is what really improves your skill and gets you to the next level so here we are so to practice my gouache painting i like to start with a pencil sketch having a good pencil sketch serves the purpose of having sort of a skeleton or outline for the painting to paint on top of even though gouache paint is quite opaque and will eventually completely cover the pencil drawing having this i found is a key step in order to plan out where everything goes and to know what you're doing once it's time to start painting my main focus at this stage is on the proportions and getting the placements of the features in the correct area. I'm not overly focused on detail and I'm not focused on rendering either, just providing basic landmarks and a guideline that I can use to build on top of. So here's the finished pencil sketch. This took about 20 minutes and now we're ready to paint. So as usual, I like to start my gouache paintings with a base layer of very dilute gouache. This gives the appearance of watercolor and the purpose is to stain the paper to help with future layering. For this one, I chose burnt sienna because I thought it would be a good complement to the blue jeans as well as provide a warm undertone for the eventual yellow color of the boots. Once the initial base layer completely dries, I do a quick value study using the same burnt sienna color except slightly more concentrated in order to break the image down into two values to get a better understanding of the value structure. And from there, I switch over to actually painting the colors that are gonna be in the final piece. So I like to build up color in layers, working from more transparent paint to more opaque. And I like to build up these layers in tiles using flat brushes. One of the challenges that I found when painting these boots was trying to keep it visually interesting. With boots made out of new buck, which is what Timberlands are made of, sort of this uh, suede-like fuzzy, fuzzier leather, there aren't really many distinguishing features. So basically it's just one solid color with no uh, reflections like the boots on the left that you can see. Um, it's pretty much just a matte surface. So the question is how do you make that matte surface look interesting as well as realistic. So the two ways I came up with while painting were one, keeping the saturation down and two, adding slight hue variations in order to break up the golden brown color. Also, towards the later more opaque layers of the painting I use less and less paint and more dry brush techniques in order to introduce some texture so that the painting overall doesn't have a smooth look rather more very texture so the boots look a bit more matte and fuzzy while the jeans look like they have their own texture so boots and other type of footwear are actually one of my favorite subject matters to paint. They have a lot of interesting colors that may not be readily apparent, 
but once you look closer you, you start to see a whole bunch of different hue variations and shapes and this is actually pretty good practice for painting skin tones and training your eye to see subtle subtle value shifts and colors that are present in skin tones and the added benefit about painting boots is that it's much more forgiving versus say portraits for example in the case of portraits people are very familiar with how other people look so if you get anything slightly wrong it'll be it will stand out but that's not the case for something like boots so give it a try you may find that you like painting them as well but uh so we're coming to the end wrapping it up just putting some final details and i'm gonna get out of here so until next time i'll see you when i see you hope it's not too long just remember to fill those sketchbooks when i'm gone tap the notification bell to see when new videos arrive and if you like this one please like and subscribe and i'm out